Hello! This is going to be a short video demonstrating how to get online with your OS32C DM laser scanner using your PC, running the demo software that is posted on the STI website. In order to get online with your sensor, you need to ensure that your IP address is set to match the IP address on your sensor, with the assumption that you have already used the configuration software and set the IP address on your sensor to a static IP address. Once you've done that, then you can go to your computer settings and set the IP address to match that sensor. In order to do that, you go to your local area connections, double click on that. A window like this should pop up. Once there, go to properties, click on that, and this window should pop up. Uh, depending on what version of Windows you're running, this may look a little bit different. But the idea here is that you need to set the IP address to match the same subnet as your laser scanner. In here, on my settings, I'm running Windows 7. And as you can see, I have two protocols that I can choose from. Because sometimes protocol number 6, or version 6, I should say, can cause issues, I deselect that. Um, and I use Internet Protocol version 4. By double-clicking on this and going to Properties, you can set your IP address to a static IP address that matches your sensor. Once you click on this, a window like this will pop up. By using this button, click on Use Following IP Address. For me, my IP address I, sh I need to set to is 192.168.250, and I use .12. The default IP addresses for some of these sensors is this, but except it's um, dash one. Uh, for your submass, it's 255.255.255.0. This is all that's needed to set your computer up to ensure it can communicate with your sensor. Hit OK and close this window. And once you have done that, then you can launch your demo software. As you see, I launched the software. Now, as you note, know, once you launch your software, the IP address you had just set should show up right here. If you don't see it, use the pull-down menu and choose from the IP address that you have just set. Once you've done that, you go over here, go to Discover Sensor. Software will go out and pull the network looking for sensors that's connected to it, and it should pop up here once it's found. My sensor is set to dot .20. This is all that's needed to do it, to get your sensor online with it. At this point, all you do is go Connect. And as you note, a window pops up telling you my session number, and the background changes color. Oops, there we go. Note that the sensor now is in color. This is one way to ensure that your sensor is online, as well as connect will be grayed out. This is all that's needed to connect your sensor to your PC. This concludes my short video on how to get online with your sensor. Thank you.